Hi everyone, welcome to a Render Spaz video tutorial and today we are going to create gummy bears within 3D Studio Max and using V-Ray as our renderer. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by modeling the bear. Very simple, straightforward. Uh, I got a nice uh, clip for you to, um, to follow along and build the bear. Then from there we're going to then add materials uh, using the V-Ray SSS um, material to give us the uh, translucent jelly look that you see in front of us here. Okay, uh, we're also going to be focusing on details like the bubbles that are going through the material uh, that gives us that kind of like that look. So you can see even here within the two green gummy bears in the bottom right, you can see that here there's some stretching going on and there's bubbles going through. And you can also see there's some nice fancy bump map all within 3D Studio Max. Uh, we're not really going to have to go outside and get uh, textures or nothing like that. Um, and then we're going to just try to use, uh, we're not using a jelly physics, but we're going to just drop these bears into place. We're also going to focus on um, working with uh, randomizing the material so that you can get different uh, colors throughout your render, like this here. You see the orange and the clear and red. So we're going to show you that as well. And some other little nuggets that are going to be in there that will help you uh, get further and um, maybe get, you guys can create your own kind of jelly or whatever it is candy uh, product shots or animations so hopefully this will help you and uh, follow along guys and um, yeah and stay tuned there's going to be also another video after this that's going to show the rendering so we're, this is a two-stage um, uh, tutorial so this is our first part and enjoy we'll get on with modeling our bear okay I'll see you in the next section all right, so we'll start by using a box to start creating our bear here. So we'll just drag this out in the front viewport and uh, we'll move our segments down from two to one and then just kind of bring this towards center of the grid here, okay, in the X. Refer this to an edible poly and we'll try to get this guy center and then what we'll do here is just take half of this and delete it and then we're going to just call this gummy bear. And we'll start creating the head here. So we're going to use some symmetry modifier. We'll add that to our stack. And then we can now use the flip and then get our symmetry working properly here. Okay, so I'm actually going to want it to work on the right side here. So our right side. And what we're going to do is just grab this and rotate it. Nine um, 180 degrees. Grab these points and start to just drag them down and we're going to start to round off our square here. Okay, so we're just going to start shaping out the head of the bear. Alright, so I'm going to really go, I'm going to really do a simple process here for the bear, a simple modeling process that's just um, something that we can get a quick you can also use sculpting tools like uh, ZBrush or Sculptress or um, you know, Mudbox to uh, to create this bear, but it's really nice that we can just create it right here in 3ds Max. Some old traditional uh, polygon modeling here. So we'll just kind of model everything here so that's rounded off. We can grab um, sides here and hit the ring tool, connect, and then we have a uh, connection here in the middle. I'll give some more uh, detail to start modeling the ears. Okay, so I'll use the chamfer tool. All right, we'll target weld these guys together so that we have quads. You got something like this. All right, this is very, um, very much of a uh, free-handed modeling here. We're just kind of trying to get something going here. So we're just going to extrude these guys out as the ears, maybe uh, scale them down and squish them a bit. Okay, we're getting that. Take a look around here and see what we come up with here. We're just going to move the ears back. Okay, I'm going to add a cut. Just cut around the ears here. 
Okay, and I want to make sure I do have quads, so I'm going to break this up a bit and go all the way down. Come back up, and now I'm just going to connect these guys together properly. So I'm just going to actually just a little cross here like this. Take these guys out. And uh, we're also get rid of that line as well, that edge. And then we have a nice um, quads here to work with. Okay, we can also cut out the nose area here. Okay, we'll just connect these guys. Move these a bit apart and grab this these faces here. We'll use the bevel tool bevel it, and then get rid of those um, center um, faces, and then we're just going to go down and we're going to just uh, center back these vertices, the center vertices, so that the symmetry will, um, will then bind together here. Okay, so there we go. We're creating the nose. Everything's coming together. We can start shaping out the, um, the head a bit more. And then we'll start getting on the eyes, but more or less we're just going to round some of the, yeah, his head up a bit here, a little, just kind of move things around to uh, get a better shape. <clears throat> I'll just turn on the uh, nerve subdivision just to see uh, what the smoothness will look like. Okay. We'll just kind of move these guys around so everything kind of flows nicely and uh, we start to see a um, cleaner mesh here. All right, so let's kind of size up the nose a bit. Okay, we'll just bring out the head a bit more, let's make it a little bit um, bulkier. Because right now we're a little bit flat, but we can uh, work with this later. I'll grab these faces here and just uh, bevel them in. So we're going to get that little slight bit of an inset to the um, to his ears. Just to make an interesting shape. I'm just going to grab these guys and move them around a bit. So using a lot of the scale tool and the move um, and the move tool just to um, tweak the shape of the uh, of his uh, head. All right, so we'll move these uh, vertices down. We'll grab this guy and we'll use the. Um, chamfer tool and this will create his eye okay but we have to make sure that we're we have quads so we're just going to collapse just kind of move these guys around a little bit okay and then we'll just bevel out a little bit and that's where his eyes are going to be we can scale them a bit I just rotate them a bit and just get something interesting. Okay, again, this is very uh, free-handed uh, modeling, so we got a lot of um, we got a lot of leeway here to uh, create something interesting. So just make him look a little bit more like a jelly kind of bear low detail, but uh, it's all going to be in the materials that are going to make this thing, this guy look uh, pretty cool. It's just going to continue to work on his ear. And we got 
a nice looking head so far of the bear. We can start now working more on its body. So we can come down here and start to extrude this out. Okay. I'll leave an extra edge there and then delete these inner polys here and then just take the uh, vertices and then we'll center them out. Okay, we'll bring this guy down. Okay, use the scale tool to just kind of flatten everything out. And um, we can start creating his body here. Okay, I'm just gonna center these guys again as well. See over here we have an inner poly that we gotta get rid of. We're gonna bring these out. Okay, and we're going to start making the cuts for his arms. Okay, so we can just do this here. Okay, we can grab this and extrude. Extrude this out a little bit more. So rotate and bring it in. Just have to kind of bring these guys together. And start shaping where his arm, you see his arms kind of just sink into his chest or his, um, pretty much where his, uh, see and then it flattens out. So we're just gonna try to get that look, but uh, it's gonna make sure I get this guy closer together. So I'll just move these vertices around to try to do this as clean as possible as well. It's not looking too, too bad. Okay, we'll rotate this. Okay, we'll scale these guys all as a whole here. Let's bring these in. Select everything again and just scale up. So we're just trying to get the right proportions of his arm. All right, but uh, and just moving everything around here, just get some adjustments going here. So this is just uh, pretty much a tweaking process of um, once you get a rough layout of where you want his arms to be and his stomach, you can start shaping everything by grabbing um, the vertices that are in off position and just try to get it in the right spot here to make everything look a little bit more natural. I was gonna try to do some relaxing here. Um, it's not exactly doing what I wanted to do, so I'm just gonna come in here and have to just kind of manually tweak this.
and we'll just make sure we uh, spread these guys out nicely. Okay, we're going to have to round off his stomach a bit more. Okay, and then um, we'll use the saw selection to bring kind of his, uh, his arms in a bit, and then um, that way we're not controlling or we're not moving everything, we just want to move a radius. We can now kind of tweak this guy, make it a little bit more chubbier. Okay, we'll just widen his head a bit, bring out his nose. Okay, and this is where his neckline is. We're just going to have to show a nice little crease. We're just going to move these guys so they're a little bit more even. We'll just tweak his arm so it's not so uh, bent up. We're just going to round it up a bit as well. All right, so it's coming along. It's, uh, it's a bit of a process. Um, but you can get the... Uh, Sure, you guys get the hint of how things are working with uh, creating this pair. So we're just gonna straighten these guys out and make sure that they're at the uh, zero point here in the next, okay, in the grid, uh, and then that way our symmetry will then snap together here and blend nicely, okay. So we're gonna grab these guys, bring them out. Let's just round off his head a bit more. And we're just gonna constantly be tweaking. But as you can see, we have a nice, uh, his upper body and his head is looking pretty good. We got to now start getting his legs going here. So we can come in and grab our faces tool. And um, just before I do that, I just want to just bring out his face a little bit more. Okay, and then his nose. And I like using the soft um, selection tool. It's, very handy when it comes to a lot of organic modeling uh, or if you want to do some kind of um, organic uh, move to your mesh you can do that with the uh, saw selection it's very nice okay so this is a perfect example of what why I like using it is just you can grab sections of the model without messing everything up and move it nicely and organically so we're gonna just start to work on his legs here so we're just gonna have to grab a bit more here bring this down and then we can make a cut here okay and then we'll connect these guys together Like so. Okay, and then I'll just grab this point here, bring this out. Start to create the leg. It's going to round this up a bit. Then we'll just grab this faces here and we'll look straight out again. Okay, it's okay if we have this. We can just bring these guys out so we round it up a bit more of his uh, leg here. Okay, and then we just got to do some tweaks. Start moving the mesh around here to get the proper uh, look here.
All right, so we're getting closer to being finished. We're just going to do some more tweaks here, maybe make his belly a bit bulgier here, and then uh, we can start to see that everything is looking quite nice. Um, it's going to need a little bit more tweaking here on his body, so we're going to grab it, scale it up a bit, and bring it out this way as well. Okay, we're still going to work on his arm here a bit. As you can see, everything's looking pretty good so far. We have, um, and it's quite clean. We just got to um, add another edge here just to connect with these, um, his arm. So we're just going to kind of just move these guys together here. Okay, and then we just gotta make sure now these vertices are back at the uh, at zero in the grid on X. So we're gonna have to change those middle vertices as well. So I'm just gonna keep a mental note of that. But uh, I'm just gonna use the inset tool here at the edge of his uh, feet so that we get that nice kind of uh, lines across the uh, his feet there, and then it looks flattened on the on his legs, and then move these guys a bit more. So then we're just going to come over here and grab these guys, scale them down a bit more. Bring these guys out a bit. All right, so we'll just keep adding a little bit more adjustments here to his leg. See if there's any other areas that we want to fix. All right, so we just got to make sure these guys are in the center. Okay, zero on the X. All right, and then pretty much that is it guys, we have modeled the bear. I'm just going to now come over, just take off our nerves, let's put on a turbo smooth. And now we can start to add our materials and get a jelly or like gummy uh, material look and we'll start to animate. All right, see you in the next.